Hi everyone today we will be talking about a yet another interesting topic in social psychology which is attribution we tend to use this process of attribution all the time attribution is a process through which we try to understand the cause behind our or others behavior basically we want to know if a person behaved in a specific manner what was the reason behind that behavior Let's understand this process of attribution using this particular example. Here in this example a person is late for a meeting. So, we would want to know if he is a habituated late comer that is is he always late or was he stuck in traffic that is he was late only this time. It is difficult to be certain about this. However, there are theories that can help us make this judgment better. So let's have a look at these theories in detail. So the first theory that we would be studying would be about Jones and Davis theory of correspondent inference. According to this theory, we tend to focus on the type of action that are most likely to prove informative. That is, there are three behaviors or three actions that this particular theory focuses upon. The first one being behavior that is freely chosen, which says we are likely to consider behavior as corresponding to a person's trait when the behavior seems to be freely chosen second is a behavior that yields non common effects which states we pay careful attention to actions that show non common effects that is conditions that can be caused by one specific factor but not by others thus actions that produce non common effects are informative because they rule out other possible causes and allows us to zero in on specific reason for others behavior the third one be the behavior that is low on social desirability that is we pay more attention to others actions that are low on social desirability than to actions that are high on this dimension thus according to this theory proposed by jones and davis we are most likely to conclude that others behaviors reflect their stable traits or when their behavior is freely chosen yields non common effect and is low on social desirability the second theory is kelly's covariation theory of attribution according to kelly's covariation theory of attribution here the focus is on three major types of information that is consensus consistency and distinctiveness let's understand each of them consensus is the extent to which other people react to a given stimulus or event in the same manner as the person we are evaluating consistency is the extent to which the person in question reacts to the stimulus or event in the same way on other occasions over time and third is distinctiveness which is the extent to which the person reacts in the same manner to other different stimuli or events now using kelly's covariation theory we can understand an individual's behavior that is if it has an internal cause attached to it or an external cause attached to it thus when consensus and distinctiveness are low and consistency is high it means it the behavior has an internal cause attached to it whereas when consensus consistency and distinctiveness all three are high the behavior has an external cause attached to it now let's try and understand kelly's covariation theory using an example in this example we notice that the server is being nice to a particular customer so we as a third person would like to know if this server likes to flirt with every other customer or there is something special about this particular customer hence we will try to pick up some more information we notice that many other servers also flirt with this particular customer which means the consensus is high we also notice that this server flirts with this customer at other times which means the consistency is also high third thing that we notice is that this server does not flirt with other customers which means the distinctiveness is also high that means there's something very special about this particular customer hence the server's behavior can then be attributed to an external cause which means the customer's attractiveness 
or the customer is beautiful or there's something special about this customer because of which the server is being nice to this particular customer we'll try and understand the same example in a different manner wherein we say that no other server flirts with this particular customer which means the consensus is low we also say that this server flirts with the other customer at other times which means the consistency is high we also say this server flirts with other customers which means the distinctiveness is low that is there is nothing special about this particular customer thus the server's behavior can then be attributed to an internal cause which means this particular server simply likes to flirt thus through this particular example we understood kelly's covariation theory of attribution i hope you have had a very clear understanding about the process of attribution and the two theories that we studied today for more such interesting videos on psychology do subscribe to my channel #psychbite thank you